as we just mentioned in the skill of awareness, you have a different sense of awareness from 24 to 36 weeks than your partner does. It's as simple as that. You have always been inside this pregnancy through its ups and downs, its roller coasters, its turns, everything. It's good and it's bad, it's ugly. But they've been outside it, so they're just holding on. And the fact is, this is why men got driven to develop these 10 skills, is that without skills, they're not holding on. They're being left behind. It's sort of like the road runner in the dust. You move along at the speed of light. You expect them to keep up. Who's teaching them to keep up? Nobody. You're not teaching them. You're just asking them to respond to your ups and downs. If you wake up in a good mood, yay. If you wake up in a bad mood and are vomiting between conception and 12 weeks, well, there you go. And so you need to continue to grow your kindness. Kindness is really a fundamental human emotion. We live in a world where we are told that this is other and that we have a lot of wars and a lot of conflicts. But our primary, our primary emotion as human beings is kindness, joy, laughter. Take a look at babies. What do they do? Yeah, they cry, fuss. That's the only language they have. But they smile in joy. And that smile is their way of showing kindness. So if a baby's been miserable and then they smile at you, they're bringing kindness to you. So your job between 24 and 36 weeks of pregnancy, if this is a new course to you, is that you need to really be kind to your partner. It's really important that you become kind to your partner and help them catch up to what has been going on in you. You want to be equal. If you expect your partner to be an equal parent and co-parent and know, they need the skills. So you need to grow these skills together. And this is why we did Fathers-to-be Pregnancy Academies as well. As an add-on, we decided to do the Mothers-to-be Pregnancies Academy because of the Udemy global community. But in kindness, you need to be kind to your partner. And now we're going to talk a little bit about kindness to your baby because we're not going to do separate videos about that. If you are ambivalent about this child, it is okay. Just let me tell you, a lot of women are. You're not alone. However, if you're going to keep this child, you need to grow up as an adult and begin to develop behaviors, even though your negative voice is rattling on with you. And we're going to give you a resource in this course called your positive and negative voice, which is used a lot in birth. In other words, what you think and how you behave can be disconnected. Children don't disconnect them. As adults, we learn to disconnect them. So you need to learn to disconnect them. You can tell your baby you're ambivalent. You can tell your baby about your fears. That's fine. They need to know those things. And you need to tell your baby that you are going to do absolutely your best to be the best mother that you can be towards this child because you are not willing to be in competition with this baby's life.